So with Moderna pushing for a fourth dose for those who uh, are 18 and older, what does this mean for the future of our vaccinations? Joining us live is world-renowned virology expert Dr. Larry Corey from Fred Hutch. Dr. Corey, good to see you this morning. Pleasure. Hi, Let, Jake. Hey, Mimi. Let's dig into hey, this data a little bit more. What is What data is out there to support the need for a fourth dose? Well, there's more and more data that there is continuing to be waning immunity against Omicron. So um, in some respects, it's, a, it's an issue of just how much effectiveness do we want? Uh, we have good protection against hospitalization, but we're starting to see falling protection against getting ill. So you seem to think that it is uh, not entirely necessary, it sounds like. Well, I, I think that um, what we're lacking at the moment is just what does the fourth booster do um, with respect to um, boosting you back up against especially Omicron BA2, mm -hmm. um, and how long will that last? And I, I think we're really at this issue of we also don't quite know what the virus was, is doing. It has mutated five times more than influenza. So BA2 is... Um, close enough to BA1, so if you get BA1, you shouldn't get BA2, or you, BA2 should protect you also against BA1. Mm. The reality is we just don't know what's going to happen next. So uh, I think for the elderly, we probably should get a fourth booster. Um, when uh, is optimal to get that, and when the rest of the country should get a fourth booster, um, I think is a little bit less clear, um, because we actually don't quite know what the virus will do. Let's talk about uh, parents with kids under the age of five. They're still waiting to you know, get approval for a vaccine for that age group. And with mask mandates being lifted, I know uh, some parents are kind of nervous about that because they've got kids who are not protected at this time. What do we know about when young children might be able to get their shots? Well, I think the third dose data will finally emerge um, you know, after in the next month. And I think that we will move to having a three dose regimen for, for kids. I suspect that that will sort of start in June or so. But what about kids under the age of five who are not able to be vaccinated at this point? Oh, I think um, that's what I'm talking about is oh. actually the, the three dose regimen for the, you know, for the sort of one to five year olds mm. where the date wasn't quite good enough. They didn't reach the level of antibody with the dose they chart. They, they picked at least the uh, Pfizer did for uh, the two doses and third dose data will will be available um, uh, within the next month or so. OK, it's interesting to hear you talk about really it's unclear the path of this virus and what's coming next. Obviously, it's mutating so quickly. I'm also just curious. The numbers we're seeing in our state right now are down to levels we saw early last summer extremely low hospitalizations, death and cases. Is that because of what the virus is doing in your opinion or is that more about the fact people are testing at home now, they're not reporting the virus and so numbers are going down? I don't think it's uh, testing. I really do think that we have um, an enormous number of people who have acquired immunity either through vaccination mm -hmm or through infection. And that does ameliorate the severity of the disease. Um, Omicron itself um, is a less severe disease. It infects more people, but the ratio of people who get um, severe disease is less, uh, albeit the numbers are, you know, we're, we're still having, you know, some hospitalizations, but, you know, we are getting to the point where most of us have either gotten infect infected or vaccinated. And that does ameliorate disease. Is that what we've been, uh, you know, moving towards as herd immunity, essentially? Yeah. That's, a, that's a very good point. We're eventually getting to the point where there is some evidence of herd immunity. And that herd immunity is manifested by um, less death and less hospitalization. Yeah, yeah, which is good news. Uh, that's a lot of immunity for this virus to run up against. This might be one of the most yeah. encouraging interviews we've done with was, Dr. I'm Corey out. in a while. <laughs> Thank you. <No. laughs> Dr. Corey, thanks so much for being here. Uh, we do appreciate it. It's always good perspective. All right. Thank you. See you okay. next time.